then you know so then I was thinking about that I'm like huh okay well you know if you were to travel through the universe and everyone everything in the universe is a singularity then you could you know build a ship that's able to go inside a singularity that ship would have to have a drive at its center that's a singularity itself okay and you could enter a local singularity and because you're in singularity connected to all things you could come out anywhere you want anywhere else in the universe and you could actually follow a linear progression of that of that travel although it would only take seconds for you to go across the galaxy you would still go through the singularity of the Sun through the singularity of the hub and then out to another singularity that would be a solar system in some other corners of the galaxy you could even go from the hub to another galaxy hub and then come out wherever you want there you guys are following this okay now if you think of it this way then it's like okay well we should be able to see these guys coming in and out so I started to investigate this and I found something very bizarre I found that most of the telescope and probes that observe the Sun are owned by no one else but the Vatican <laughs> the Vatican and I was thinking well that is strange what does the Vatican want with the Sun and I noticed you know so I started to you know kind of keep track of what was going on on the Sun and uh, I kept on downloading you know material from NASA uh, from the SOHO probe which is a probe that's orbiting the Sun and one day this video was put on the net this was a while ago almost five years ago now there's been many others since then this is a good one let's take a look at it they place this on the Sun now this is the probe telemetry this is the camera and it has a little arm that has a protective lens because otherwise the electronics would get overwhelmed and this is the sun uh, surface here this is a representation of the sun surface and um, and this is the video so this video was placed on the net saying comets sun gazing comet hits the sun uh, and you know a bunch of people downloaded this stuff and you know m emailed NASA and said what are these objects because comets usually have extremely long tails when they approach an object like the Sun do you know how big these objects are at least the size of the earth okay a comet the size of the earth orbiting the Sun or approaching the Sun should have a very large tail very visible tail so you know after a whole bunch of astrophysicists email NASA going what are these objects you're calling comets uh, they retracted the video 
and uh, I, I I was lucky to get a copy because uh, after you know a whole bunch of people complain when they retracted the video, they put the video back on. But all of a sudden, the objects had tails. Uh, however, let's go back and analyze this video a little bit. You can see the stars in the background all going from left to right. Okay, that's because the probe is orbiting. Right? And then you can see all these little white dots. Those are uh, particles hitting the camera. Let's try to find one. So you, you see this one? That's a particle from the sun hitting the camera. So you can ignore these little bleeps. But if you actually go backwards, you will find that there is only one object going towards the sun at first. And then at this frame, you will find two little objects here that appear that in the next frame move from here to here. Can everybody see this? Not the light. Oh, the light. So from here to there, right? Now that's against all the other movements in the background, okay? And then on the next frame, these two objects become one. Now. That's quite possible if the two objects ended up one behind each other, right? So now it becomes one to an observer here. And then the next frame, these two objects become the next, the second comet, which makes a 90 degree angle turn. See? Boom, become one, and then starts moving in this direction. So it came from here. It, it became one here and then started moving in a completely 90 degree angle direction from where it was going. Now the only comets that I know of that do that type of crazy movements are the ones that have little windows and little guys in the back <laughs> waving. Okay? The size of the earth. And here you can tell that the objects make, almost, make most likely a full orbit of the sun. And then, boom, enters the sun approximately at 19.47 latitude, probably in the sunspot. And then this huge plasma ejection comes out. Let's take a look at it. Boom. The other thing is the objects don't break into pieces like comets would do. And so I was really amazed to find this video. And I thought, my God, you know, if you were a society that had ships the size of the earth, you wouldn't be able to go into any small black holes like the earth it would be your ship just would be too big for the <laughs> earth so you'd go for the next fractal level of black holes you'd go for the sun but if you were using a smaller ship and you wanted to go through the black hole of the earth then you would find that black hole by going through the sunspots of the earth. These sunspots would be the volcanoes you find on earth. 